Um, now, you've worked on many other projects as well, obviously, as well as Argent and the Zombies. You've done uh, music for TV shows. You've worked with the likes yeah. of um, Gary Moore and Phil Collins and people like that. But um, what I want to ask you about is The Who. Now, you played on one of their absolute classic songs, uh, Who Are You? How did all that come about? It came about because I'd just done an album as a session player for um, Roger Daltrey. Okay. And I think it was one of the boys, but do you know what? I can't remember if it's that one or the next one. But anyway, um, he said to Pete, I think we should get Rod on the on on the next album. And I mean, such a wonderful, talented band, absolutely yeah. marvellous. And um, I actually played on three tracks on the album, although I'm only credited yeah. on two. And my favourite personal contribution was on um, Love Is Coming Down. That's me playing piano on that. But um, I didn't get credit for that. I mean, <laughs> but what actually happened, um, they had a month assigned for the album and I committed to that. But I'd already then committed to work with um, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, project with his, his uh, brother Julian Lloyd Webber on cello and Gary Moore and John Heisman. Uh, and Barbara Thompson. Um, and at the end of that that month, I mean, the, the Who never spent a long time on any of the tracks record, mm -hmm. actually recording. When they actually got into the studio, uh, I remember Who Are You, uh, at least my my part in it, and and, and, the, and the whole backing track, et cetera. Maybe not the lead vocal, I don't know, although Roger was singing. Um, it happened in about four hours. I mean, it, oh, cool. and, that, and that was the track. But, they were going through a lot of political things at the time um, and they were up having meetings all day long uh, for quite a lot of the time. I'm, I'm not criticising. Um, I didn't mind being there. But at the end of the month, I, I, I said to Pete, I'm sorry, I, I've got to finish now because I'm committed to do this this album with Andrew Lloyd Webber. He said, well, which album would you rather do? I said, it's not, it's not <laughs> any sort of question of that. I've committed to do it. You know, so I'm not going to just pull out and not do it. And, and so I was only on those three tracks. And in the end, I only got credited for two. But as I said, I was on three. Oh. And what do you remember about working with The Who? I mean, what were the guys like in the studio to work with when you actually got them in the studio? They were absolutely lovely. I'm very talented, really committed. Um, I remember Keith Moon was unbelievably, was always the person who was there first in the day on All time. Right. He would always get there... Um, whatever the start time was, maybe it was 11 o'clock. I mean, I, it was in South London at Ramport. I had to come all the way from St. Albans and the traffic was pretty bad. So I think it was 11 o'clock and I'd get there and then Keith would be there and he'd be really quiet and sober. And that th on about the third day, he said to me, oh, there's nobody here yet. He said, um, do you fancy popping around down the road, you know, around the corner for a drink? And, and he said, and I said, yeah, okay. And so I, I started to make make off and he said, I've just got to avoid my mind as he said, I can't stand the fact that they're coming with me everywhere. And anyway, we walked into this really rough pub and, and as we walked by this huge guy, you know, um, playing pool, he was just about to take a shot and, and Keith nudged his arm and went, oh, sorry, mate. Um, and the guy, you know, looked at him and I thought, it's going to be trouble here very soon. So I said, oh, Keith, I just remembered I've got to make a phone call. And I, went, <laughs> I went back and then he turned up uh, a couple of hours later, um, you know, really three sheets to the wind. And and um, and he was up on his drum rostrum because he used to record on a drum rostrum, a really high drum rostrum <laughs> in, in, in the studio. And as I walked into the studio, there was a hail of drumsticks being thrown at me. <laughs> you know, I thought, what's happened? <laughs> but he was a lovely guy, though. Really lovely. And, and, and everybody was. It was very enjoyable, but um, a bit of a fractured experience, you know. Yeah. 